I want to explain something about this cross. If you carry this cross, there's a stigma that goes with it. Sometimes you have to choose between being accepted and being cool and being with the in crowd or carrying the cross. You will not always be popular. You will not always be invited to every party because the thing about, it's one thing, y'all stand right here, it's one thing to carry, to wear a cross on your neck. But it's another thing when you're carrying a real cross, a for real cross in your life and you're taking up your cross daily and you're saying, Jesus Christ, I'm not playing God games. I'm getting up today and I'm going to be different to make a difference. Don't care if they laugh at me. I'm going to carry your cross today. Now, 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 now you need to understand that when you start really being a Christian, not just saying I'm a Christian, not just being a Christian when you're in a conference, but when you get him on the inside and you're carrying your cross and you show up with one of these at the party, you walk in and they're... Uh, and the music is pumping and everybody's playing and Britney Spears is singing about her threesome and her foursome. And you walk in with a big old cross. You know what's going to happen? They're going to they're gonna spread like roaches. Give me a young man. Give me a young lady. Can I get a young lady? Come here. Watch this. Let's say you guys are dating and everything's going good and one night you're out on a date. And you're in the back seat and your song comes on. Everything's going good. But it's kind of hard to do anything you shouldn't if... <laughs> Let me show you something about this cross. Because, you know, a guy's hands naturally want to go where they shouldn't go. And it not only does that, but it protects you in the right areas also. If you're really carrying a cross, what, ag what aggravates me, what aggravates me is... Lady Gaga's going to be in this Coliseum in a few weeks and she's got a song where she puts a cross vulgarly across her groin. But I want to say the cross doesn't belong there in vulgarity. It belongs in our lives. It belongs in our date lives. It belongs in everything that we say and we do. Thank you. You can take that cross, darling. And I want to know, I want to know you young ladies that don't have a father, will you carry his cross? Will you, when you leave this conference, say, Lord, I know you've got a mission for my life. There's no telling what God's got for you. There's no telling how God's going to use you. There's no telling how the Holy Spirit is going to direct your life. And if you will carry his cross, what the enemy did to you by taking your father out of your life, he will make a plus in your life and he'll actually use it for your good. That's the power of a cross. Will you carry his cross? Carry his cross back to your seat. Give him a big hand if you will, please. I wonder if there's a husband and a wife in this room. Come here. We need moms and dads to stay together. We need moms and dads who say we won't let the demon of divorce tear our home all to pieces. And sometimes you don't like each other. And sometimes you get on each other's nerves. And sometimes he gets on your last nerve. But I'm asking you, Will you carry his cross for your family, for your marriage, for your, for your children? Carry his cross, unexpected crosses. Did you know God can use anybody? Did you know that he can use somebody 
in a wheelchair to carry his cross. Maybe he was born for this very moment. Maybe he was born for this very time when he would, before 10,000 plus students, carry the cross of Jesus. Thank you for carrying his cross.